Hi, my name is Nerve Gorilla. It's November 23, 2024, and I'm going to show you right now live how to make a website and share files on your hard drive to anyone on the internet. No limits, no size limits, no price, no dollar sign, no advertisements, nothing. Just pure file sharing using your internet connection. That's it. It's really simple. We're going to be using NGINX and Linux. That's it. It's really easy. Uh, this isn't a full tutorial, but this is giving you a quick example about how fast you can get started from nothing. So as you can see right here, this is my main computer in the living room. It's called Proxmox. That's what we run on it. And you'll see a folder called PC ISOs on the right and then the year on the left. Let's go down to like 2002 and we'll go to ISOs and we have so many games and I want to share them with people for free. Well, we can do that. It's still loading. That's how many games there are. It's still loading. <laughs> I guess I'm going to zoom in on it, aren't I? All right, there it goes. Look at that. All these games. And let's say I want to share them. Now, if you were going to try to share this uh, on file, like some file sharing website or um, Google Drive or anything like that, the people on our piracy will tell you to use those websites. They'll tell you to use Dropbox or Google Drive or um, Mediafire, but they all have limitations and they will never be able to share this many things. But you can share directly from your hard drive to people on the internet, for real. So let me exit out of here and I'll just show you. I'm just gonna do an example. So this Proxmox, we're gonna create a container on the upper right. Um, container is kind of like a little virtual machine and we'll just name it games. And I'll go to next and I will use, just for the hell of it, we'll use uh, Ubuntu 24, actually 2410. There we go. Um, we'll just put eight gigs on it because we're not gonna use that. Two cores, that's it. Uh, and then we'll just hit start. It's so easy. Okay, it's loading. We got it loading up right now. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Just gonna change the root password real quick. I'm gonna get the IP and it is 192.168.1.104. So we're gonna put that in a putty, which is something different, just to make it easier. 104, we're gonna save and then we're gonna connect. Okay, we're in. Just want to grab the IP one more time. 104, let's change it. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just do this apt update and apt install NGINX. NGINX is a web server. We're going to create a what's called a server block, and here it is right here. And as you can see, we have it mounted to this folder right here, but we don't have that folder yet, so we actually have to make it. So we're gonna go to the MNT folder, make dir. Um, I'm just gonna do one at a time because you know there's another way to do this, but we'll just do one at a time. Make dir. Make dir PC ISOs. Okay. Now that it's made, let's continue with this server block. Or actually, that's done. And we're going to do this right here. System reload NGINX. Okay. Now let's double click it. All right, it works. The website works, but only locally. As you can see, 192.168.1.104. But NGINX is running. Can't see anything yet, but we're going to get that here uh, fixed. Okay, we're going to log into Proxmox. All right, and what was that? That was 112. So yeah, we're going to edit the config file real quick in Proxmox. And then we're going to attach the hard drive from Proxmox into our little VM so our VM can access it. Okay, and then we're going to start the VM back up. And that should be it. I'm going to connect with uh, Putty one more time. Uh, let's see, scene archive, let's see, all right, it should be there, all right, that's it. 
Okay, I changed it to port 90, so we're gonna actually, there it is right there. All right, now we can see it here locally on our um, network only, but we wanna make this available to the internet, so what do we do next? Well, we have to attach this 192.168.1.104 IP address to port 90 in our router. So here's our router. Let's make a new, let's just name it test TCP. We'll name port 90, paste the IP, port 90. Now this is called port forwarding. If you never heard of it, you have to do this to open ports up to the public. And it's rebooting, okay? And now, instead of just working here, it should work at our IP address. So we'll go to abs.freemyip.com, port 90. Let's open a private browser just because we know we haven't been there before. Oops. All right. And we can see it. If I give this link right now to anybody, they can connect to this fucking website right here, and they can download any game they want. So if they wanted, I don't know, Earthworm Jim by Fairlight, they just hit this, and they go to save, and we'll open it up. And there it is. See, we just downloaded a file from our own website. So they can go down and they can download any game here instantly. There's no limits. Where's the dollar sign? Where's the limitations? There's no size limit or nothing. You can download anything you want. So that's how, how you quickly share files. Look at how many files are there. There's gigs and gigs and gigs of games right here. Command and Conquer, Generals, there you go. That's how you share files. So don't give me this fucking bullshit excuse that you need to pay for some VPS or you need to pay for a VPN. I mean, if you want to use the VPN, go ahead, but try to host a website using your VPN. Do that too. Who's going to report you? What's going to happen? VPNs protect you, right? Well, then start hosting files like this and start sharing properly. Okay, got it. All right, thanks.